In today's video, I'm gonna talk about the Helicon Tech Gear. What I like about them gear and what I dislike about them gear. Hello and welcome to the Straight Your Channel. And today I wanna show you quite a few items from the Helicon Tech. And I'm gonna talk only about the items I own and I've been using them for a the very long time. So that's why I can give you my honest opinion. This video is not sponsored by the Helicon Tech because I'm way too small YouTuber for such a big brand. But you can help me if you could jump on this subscribe button. And if you're enjoying this video, please don't forget to leave a like. Thank you. And how I already mentioned, I'm gonna talk only about the gear I own. I have a jacket, I have a trousers, I have a bags, hats, and a backpack. And I wanna start from the good thing about the helicon tech and then i'm gonna move to uh, a bit more negative it's not that more negative it's probably a bit uh, more about a disappointment very first item i bought from helicon tech it was these trousers these trousers special forces uniform pants when i bought these trousers i had no idea who is helicon tech i found them shop on the internet and because i'm always scouting for the new gear I was kind of surprised because in my opinion the price it was really very affordable and then I decided to put on a real rough test so I've been using them for many different adventures like example hiking camping uh, I was repairing my car so I decided to proper properly abuse these trousers and how you can see they still in one piece even that I have these trousers for many, many years. I don't even remember when I bought these trousers. Only one thing that it lost a bit of color, but I don't mind a bit of washed out color. And because I was so impressed uh, of the quality, so I decided to buy another pair. And another pair. And finally, Finally, when the Helicon Tech released them bushcraft line, I was so hyped because these are my favorite trousers. They are Pilgrim pants. Why I'm so hyped about these trousers? Because people who was working on this model, they knew what outdoor people actually need. Like example, wide top pocket. They are white. If I want to put something, I have no issues. Stretchy material on the bum and on the knees. Secure pockets. Big side pockets. Every bushcraft line item has this fireplace patch. So this is how you can actually recognize that this is a bushcraft line item i put these trousers on a, some serious test as well and they're still in one piece nothing bad happened to them so if you are bushcraft man or the outdoor person i would highly recommend to get these trousers because they are very good so the next one i want to move to the jacket and the fleece so what I'm wearing now, it's a Cumulus Heavy Fleece. And this is from the Outback line. This fleece is so warm that unfortunately I have to wait for the winter to come because in the summertime, I cannot use this fleece because even in a cold summer night, these fleece are too warm. And it has a large side pocket, arm pocket, also the armpit ventilation, everything what you need. And of course, I'm not complaining that something is too warm because in the winter time, like example now, it's almost winter. Today is probably about three degrees plus and all I have underneath is just uh, my t-shirt and I am absolutely in my comfort zone. The next one, it's Alpha Tactical Fleece same thing really very warm fleece it's heavy and that's why it's probably so warm and uh it is the one thing which i don't really like i don't like that there is no hood 
because I prefer uh, the fleece with the with the hood because it keeps you warm in the windy days but I can actually combine this fleece with this jacket because this jacket comes with a hoodie very simple model side pockets one front pocket that's it good quality I cannot see nothing bad about this alpha tactical fleece this is Helicon Tech PCS Smoke personal clothing system and I really like this model and I will put it on to show you what I like and what I change on this model this is very cool model how we can see top pocket safe pocket or the zip pocket bottom pocket the main thing what I like about this jacket is the hood because look how large and deep is this hood so this hood protects you from the wind and the rain but one of my favorite things is that this hood actually inside has like a wire so you can adjust this hood the way you want and on the windy days it's not gonna just flap it stays steady how cool is that and now about the things i change or i adjusted a little bit because this is a proper military jacket so this jacket comes with a rank flap yeah, this is how i call it i don't know what is the actual name of this thing but the rank flap so i took it away because i'm not in the military anymore and i don't really need this flap another thing is velcro on the arms it was this big velcro on both for me it was a bit uncomfortable when I was bending my arm because the velcro it's so hard material yeah for me it was a bit uncomfortable so I took it away I still left the top velcro just in case if I want to put a patch also it has a armpit ventilation it's very cool to protect you from the moisture inside when you're sweating and how I already said that it's not that very warm so that's why I'm actually using this jacket with a alpha tactical jacket underneath and then even in a cold days rainy days windy days yeah this jacket and this fleece protects me and now before we're gonna move to my favorite subject which is bags I want to show you a couple of hats and this is a range beanie I have one on my head very warm beanie even in a very cold windy days this beanie protects me without any issues and they are not expensive and they're very tactical cool looking beanie baseball cap this is my summer baseball cap why summer baseball cap because of the ventilation and how you can see it allows the air get in and cool you down I would not recommend to use this baseball cap during the winter because you would freeze your head off very cool looking velcro at the front on the top at the back very cool looking baseball cap and now let's move to the bags I love bags people who follow my channel know that I'm crazy about the bags and the backpacks and this is a Vombat Vombat messenger bag and again very cool very tactical looking bag but for me unfortunately this bag was too small that's one of the things and I will explain you why because usually I'm using these kind of bags or messenger bags on my one day or short hiking trips 
and what I'm taking with me, I'm taking a couple of items and one of these items is my mirrorless camera. And when I'm taking my camera, I'm using this pouch. When I'm putting this pouch inside this bag, there is not much space left for my water bottle, my snacks or any other item. I'm still using this, this bag, but not when I wanna take my camera. Also, somehow, I managed to lose a strap for this backpack. I tried to get the original one to buy from the Helicon Text, but for some reason, they're not selling any spare parts for these bags. So I bought uh, just a simple, I believe this is a rifle sling and using instead of the original strap. So Helicontex, it would be really very nice if you start selling the spare parts for your bags, because I'm guessing that I'm not the only one who actually loses these things. <laughs> and because the Vombat bag was too small for me, I decided to try something else. And I bought this messenger bag. It's again, from the bushcraft line. This backpack was a solution for all my problems because I can put my camera without any issues and look how much more space I have inside. I can put my water bottle without any problem and I can put another one. And if I want to take a tripod because this bag has a special place for the saw, folding saw and uh, axe. I can actually put my tripod and take with me on my hiking adventures. It has extra pockets, it has safe pocket inside with a zip. So I was so pleased and happy with this backpack that I decided to get another one when I'm going to the city because this color, it's a bit more outdoor color. And this is, I believe, a wolf gray color. And when I'm going to the city, I'm taking this gray bag. Another very interesting item from Helicontech is this chest rig. At the beginning, I was thinking, why you actually need such a thing? Because most of the items you can actually put in your pocket or in your backpack. But then later, I come up with one idea and that's the main reason why I bought this chest bag. When I'm hiking, I'm not only have my map and my compass, but also I have my camera. And I'm using this old film camera only for the purpose of this video because it's same size as my main camera, which is Sony ZV-E10. I decided to use this chest bag as my third hand. How? When I'm using my camera and suddenly I need my both hands free, what I'm doing, boom, that's it. This is my third hand for my camera. Then I can do whatever I need to do. And then when I wanna pull my camera out again, boom, I have my camera literally in a couple of seconds. Also, I can put my spare batteries, uh, my pocket knife, any other small items into this bag. If you never had one or you never tried, again, I would highly recommend to get one because they're not that expensive. And you will see that this bag is very handy. Another bag I own from the Helicontext is Helicontext 
ADC light backpack. So everyday carry backpack. This is 21 liter backpack. Again, I use this backpack a lot. And for everyday usage, this backpack is perfect. I had no issues, no ribs, no holes, still in one piece, good size and a good quality. And the last item I own from the Helicontex is this backpack. Backpack Matilda. If you are outdoor person, you probably will recognize this backpack or it will remind you something else. It's not a big secret that Helicontech actually took the idea from the legendary Alice backpack. How we can see, it looks like a mini Alice model. Now it's time to talk, not only about the good things, but about a bit of negative things or disappointment. When they release this backpack, it's again, it's from the Bushcraft line. I was very hyped because I really like this model. Same as the original Alice backpack. As soon as I got this backpack, I decided that, you know what? I have to try it. I have to test it. So I took this backpack for one day hiking trip in the woods. When I back, I was very happy. I had no issues with this backpack, but then I noticed something. When I back, I noticed, if you can see, a small cut. And not only one, few of them. I was thinking, how is this possible? I was on a simple hike, not not some crazy hike through the woods, through the bushy woods, but just a simple walk. And it already has a cut. Later, when I start checking the specifications of this backpack, I find out that Helicontech using a 500D Cordura material. Yeah. If you watch my backpack size video, you already know that the higher D number, the stronger is material. The lower D number is more weaker material. But same time, the higher number, so that means the material is more heavier. What Helicontex decided to do is to use the 500D Cordura material for the bottom of this bag, for the straps and for the back. But the rest of material is 210D. In my opinion, that that's probably the main reason why I got these cuts, because the material of this backpack is not that strong. And I understand this backpack is already heavy. And Helicontech decided to cut the weight and use more lighter material but at the same time the material is not that strong this is very military looking backpack but the helicontech decided to add to the bushcraft line not to the military but to the bushcraft and probably that's the reason because this backpack is not that strong and the military people who would take this backpack on a military mission this backpack probably would get ruined for me because I already mentioned before, I'm not in the army anymore and I'm going to use this backpack only for my hiking trips. I really like this backpack, but at the same time, I would say that there is something for the Helicontech to improve. And I believe that the material, that was only one main kind of negative thing or the thing which kind of disappoint me is the material of this backpack. Overall, I am very happy with the Helicontech gear. How you can see from this video, I've been using them gear for a very long time and actually I put in a proper rough test. 
and for the price you're paying for this gear i would say that this gear it is really very good quality it's just a few things what helicontech should improve and probably they will do it in the future if you're looking for the gear for the good price and the good quality the helicontech gear is for you there is many many more different items from helicontech and probably in the future i will try maybe not all of them but most of them and i will make more videos of course only if you enjoy this video if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and as always thank you very much for watching and i will see you all in my next video you all take care